Hi, my name is Marcelo Pecotti and in this short video I will be talking about our project entitled Design and Development of a Directly Coupled Photovoltaic Powered Agri-Processing Machinery funded by the Agritech Catalyst Round 8. The project aims to develop a solar power multi-purpose hammer mill to be used for cassava processing. To understand why we are developing a multi-purpose hammer mill, first we need to have a look on how cassava is processed in most sub-Saharan African countries. Usually the roots arrive at the processing center and are first hand peeled with a knife. After that, they are washed by hand and introduced into a grater that turns the root into a mesh. The mesh is the water with a press and the resulting press cake is pulverized with a grater producing wet grits. The wet grits are dry and the resulting dry grits are milled with a hammer mill, resulting in the final product, cassava flour. So the objective of this project is to develop a single piece of equipment that can do all, grate the cassava root, pulverize the pressed mesh and mill the dry cassava grits, all powered by solar energy. And before we dive deeper on how is this novel equipment, let's first have a look on how traditional hammer mill operates. They are composed by a hopper, a case, rotor, rods, hammers, sieve, fan, and cyclone. The hoppers has the function to feed the product into the case. Inside the case, the rotor and the rods spin at high speed, and at their periphery, the hammers are attached and swing in circular path. The hammers hit the product entering the housing, reducing it by impact. The product leaves the housing when it is small enough to pass through the sieve at the bottom. Particle size is adjusted by changing the opening size of the sieve. A sieve with larger openings results on a larger particle. If the product is wet, it moves down by the force of gravity. But if the product is dry and therefore light, a fan is used to generate a force air that conveys the product. When the product is conveyed by force air, at the end, a cyclone is used to separate the material from the conveying air. Now let's have a look at the main components of the novel hammer mill our team has developed. The hopper was designed to handle the fresh cassava roots, the press cake and the dry grits. And the upper part of the case has hinges and a lock mechanism allowing to be open and replace the sieve. A screen or a sieve with a larger aperture is used for grating the fresh roots and pulverizing the press cake. A screen with a smaller aperture is used for the milling operation. The mill has a total of 44 hammers. One side of the hammer is sharper like a knife and the other side of the hammer is flat. The mill is powered by two DC motors connected to the same shaft by a pulley and bell drive system. The motors are directly coupled to photovoltaic panels. No batteries or inverters are needed. The fan is a centrifugal blower with straight blade impeller. The impeller is connected to the same shaft that moves the hammers. Okay, now that we saw the main components of the novel hammer mill, let's understand how it actually works. For grating the cassava roots and for pulverizing the press cake, the equipment operates with a coarse screen and with the lower hatch door open. When switched to the grate function, the hammers rotate in a clockwise direction. 
In this way, the sharp side of the hammer strikes the problem. As we can see, we use discrete element method DEM to simulate the grading process. For milling the dry cassava grids, the equipment operates with a finer screen and with the hatch door closed. When switched to the mill function, the hammers rotate anti-clockwise, so the flat side of the hammer strikes the product. Also, when rotating this direction and with the hatch door closed, the fan generated a forced airflow. And this forced airflow transport the product. In the end, the product is separated by a cyclone. First Product Enterprise, a equipment manufacturing in Ghana, is currently building this novel hammer mill. And when concluded, it will be installed in a cassava process center and tested. Therefore, stay tuned as we will make another video once we have the results. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.